Oh no! Oh no! Bitcoin is going to zero. Bitcoin is going to below zero. I'm going to sell all my Bitcoin today. Quickly, the ambulance is just behind me to save the ones that are not selling right now. Guys, guys, I am selling all my Bitcoin right now. I'm just clicking the button. Can you hear? I'm selling all my positions. Emergency. This is an emergency video. Emergency video. Please, people, sell all your Bitcoin right now. Sell all your Bitcoin because we are going to below zero. It's going below zero. So you are going to be in debt. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I can't believe. Let me just. <laughs> Let me just stop this stupid nonsense. Oh my god, this is this is I've been watching YouTube today and this is complete nonsense what's happening. Those clickbait trolls are amazing. You know, I wonder how these guys have uh thousands and thousands of followers uh just using clickbait titles and thumbnails and all that crap uh these trolls make a lot of money on you guys and you just continue to follow them it's amazing the uh, the amount of videos i saw today um when i was this morning when i woke up i went to youtube and it was like bubbles in boiling water just popping out everywhere in youtube uh, people just, um, you know, using flashlights and police lights and sirens and emergency titles and all that crap. It's, there's no fucking emergency. There's no fucking emergency, guys. Everything is under control. The market is still a bull market. And let's go directly to the charts. So here we are in uh, on the price to time model. Let's take a look at the price to time model. So you guys remember what I said about um, what would be my indication that a possible bear market is about to start. And you guys remember for sure that I said that if this candle closes below the green line, which is the 20 week moving average, simple moving average, SMA, uh, I would consider that probably we could be starting a bear market. Look at that. We are below the threshold of the exponential curve of the price of time model, and we are above the 20 week simple moving average. So where is the emergency? I, I don't see any emergencies. <laughs> I just get I get crazy with those trolls. Those trolls amuse me all day. I, I, I have been laughing all day just preparing the thumbnail for this video and preparing the background with the ambulance lights. I've been laughing all day. Okay, so guys, we have seen let me just bring this window up. So look at this. Look at that. And now tell me what's different. What's different from this? What's different from this or this or this? I would like to know how much money those trolls make just clickbaiting people to their videos with sirens and flashlights and uh, police lights and all that crap. Uh, so that's it. That's that's amazing how much money is uh, won with stupid things. Okay, so the price to time model, let's get serious now for a bit. The price to time model indicates the price is still healthy. This is a healthy correction. We never touched the 20 week moving average, the green line here uh, during this bull cycle. Sometime we would have to do it. We still did not touch it. We are still above the 20 week moving average. This is perfectly normal in a bull market to have a retracement, to have a correction. Probably we could even touch the green line and continue our trajectory to the upside. So guys, 
unless I have a weekly close. So it would have to be next Sunday to Monday at, at 1 a.m., which is the Portuguese time for the weekly close. 1 a.m. next Monday, this candle would have to be below that 20 uh, week moving average for me to start worrying about something. Until then, this is a bull market and my goal to the uh, to the end of this year around the price to time model uh, predictions remains. Max Kaiser continues to say this is going to be a 220,000 Bitcoin by the end of this year. Plan B continues to say it will be 288,000 and Willie Wu did not change so far his predictions of a $3,000 Bitcoin Uh, for the top of this bull cycle. So I don't see any reason to have any ambulance lights and sirens and emergency titles and all that crap that attract people to nothing, to zero content. Uh, but anyway, so this is what the price of time model is telling me. Let's take a look at the MRI and we are going to the weekly before watching this one. So let's see here. Okay, the weekly candle broke my trend line, but the weekly candle is not closed yet. So it, you need a few more days to have this candle close. Even if this candle closes below my trend line, which is the white line right here, if it closes below this trend line, we still have the 20 week moving average here and the second trend line, which for me will be the definitive uh, uh, indication that we topped and this will become bear market for some time. So for now, there is no reason to worry about anything. Of course, many gains were lost. Uh, the last month gains, uh, almost one month, probably in a few days, were lost for now because of this retracement. But I am buying this dip. Actually, I tweeted this morning about um, I catch the bottom here at 47 and 500,000. I entered with 10% more of my cash uh, liquidity. I still have 90% of my cash liquidity to buy again if we go below the current price and until we touch the 20 week moving average. If we go below the 20 week moving average, I will reevaluate my options and that's it. Nothing else is happening on the market. This is a buy the dip opportunity and those trolls are just making you believe that uh, you have to short the market, you have to go to Bybit or uh, Femex or whatever leverage exchanges they are shilling and spend your money and do crazy stuff because that's how they make a living. Okay, let's go to the daily. And in the daily, let's see, we went down here. This is where I bought my first position of this retracement exactly at the tip of this week. Uh, this shadow from the candle, the candle in the meantime went back up again and it's now being supported by the 100 day moving average. So I don't see anything strange in this market so far. I am not afraid of, uh, I've been here since 2016, 2017, when I bought my first Bitcoin. Uh, I've seen this many times. I'm not scared anymore. So I don't see any reasons to have an emergency video, but anyway. So the daily is a seven of nine red count. We could still have one or two more days to the downside. It's probable that could happen. Uh, I'm not afraid of it. If this happens, I'm going to buy. Um, so the RSI, look at the RSI. The RSI is not even in oversold territory. The MACD, of course, is bearish. Very normal. The BitMEX funding rate is increasing because people know that this will, uh, the price will, um, you know, go back to the upside soon. This will be a reversal soon. Uh, and I will show you the Pro Indicators framework. So I don't see any reasons for you guys to be worried, at least so far. Unless you bought at 64,900 your first Bitcoin, which you shouldn't have. You were late to the party if you bought at 64,000 and now you have to deal with it. But I hope, I hope you guys didn't buy too much if this is the case. I hope you bought 
maybe thousand bucks or five thousand bucks max and you are not losing so much money and and you, of course if you go to this market and you buy five grand it's because you don't need it because that's the that's the philosophy here you have to invest the money you don't need so you should not be worried because this is going to go back up again okay so let's see uh let's check the four hour let's see how the bitmax funding rate is close to zero close to zero look this is only dot zero zero eight not even not even dot oh one so this is favoring the bulls of course no one wants to go long now because the market is very uh the uncertainty in the market is uh, very high but look the price held on the first line of support which was the 48 as i said before in my videos nothing abnormal so far the rsi is here below uh, not below sorry uh in a very low position close to the oversold um area everything is normal the volume is going back up of course with sell volume but it's going back up so we are not decreasing in volume anymore which means we have a bullish divergence in in fact we have a bullish divergence if you go to the daily it's not clear yet but look the volume is going back up the orange line is going back up and the price is coming down so what's this a bullish divergence but we need more we need more divergence and probably we could have one two more days one or two more days of downside so perfectly normal so far let's take a look at the pro framework here so this is the daily on the pro framework look exactly exactly where i put the box this is my speculative area this is my area of interest and i said people if this if the price action goes inside that box i'm buying and i did i tweeted this morning and everyone knows i did because i'm you know i never lie like those trolls so i bought 10 percent of my cash position into bitcoin exactly at 47 and a half thousand dollars of course i'm not going to say in absolute terms what 10 percent of my cash position means but i can tell you it's it's not a short position in in absolute terms i mean no short uh, it's it's not a small i i wanted to say small so it's not a small position and i'm not worried about anything and if this continues to go lower i'm going to buy more and probably this will be supported by the 44000 area which is let me just zoom out so this is the 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 downside of the rectangle is exactly 44000 and this is one of the first major areas of support and the next one is for 40,000 which is the third range boundary breakout line the previous third range boundary breakout line which will support the price and I bet the bulls are just waiting for the price to come back down here around 44 to 40k and this is where all the smart money is waiting they are just waiting for your money for the money of you guys that go after the bullshit of those trolls sell or short the market here and then the smart money is just waiting for you guys just like i did this morning i have to thank all the guys that sold their sets that i could buy them at discount at forty-seven thousand and 500. so guys <laughs> this is the market guys if you are emotional if you are emotional maybe this is not the business for you you cannot be emotional you have to look at this as an opportunity not as uh, that's exactly what not as something that will scare you that's exactly what the clickbait trolls are doing they are using the uh, sirens and the ambulance lights and all that crap to trigger your emotions 
and then they are saying I'm shorting the market until Bitcoin goes to 41,000. I saw I saw tweets like this and register on on Bybit and uh, Femex and all those uh, stupid leverage um, exchanges and get $1,600, $500 bonus and all that crap and people go for it and people go for it and that's what um, you are the guys that are selling the sets for me to buy at discount so thank you if you follow those guys thank you thank you for that okay let's check the four hour and here it is so let me just move this a bit to the left so you guys can see exactly what happened so here we are we have an abc correction wave I, I plotted the wave just uh, one or two videos uh, ago. I can plot it again so you guys see what I did, by the way. So I have an ABC, ABC correction. A, B, C. This is actually, this is the wave I plotted on the last video. It was exactly like this. So it I was going to put the C there, but I'm, I'm just going to plot the wave as I, the Elliott wave, the corrective Elliott wave, A, B, C, as I did in, I can't remember if this was yesterday or two videos ago. Uh, and I said, this is going to be inside the speculative area that I'm interested in. And look what the price did. Here. This is exactly the point where I bought, where the, the little finger is there. So, while you are selling, I'm buying. And that's very good. So guys, uh, this is my uh, perspective of the market. I'm expecting the price action to go even further below. I don't mind if we go to the next area of support, which would be around the 44K. As I said before, this is where the 20 weekly moving average is uh, surfing around right now as you've seen in the price to time model then we have another support a big support below that which is the 40k which corresponds to the previous third range boundary breakout line this dashed orange line so if that happens i still have 90 percent of my cash on the side i'm waiting on the sidelines if that doesn't happen I will get into the market again when we break for new all-time highs. And that's what you should do. This is not financial advice, by the way. I'm just telling you what is the correct way of looking at this market right now. But you should decide for yourself, of course, what you are planning to do um, with your money. So let's see. We are already with 18 minutes. It's time to end here. So let me just stop the screen share and stop this stupid background here it is the normal background because everything is normal right now uh, let me just sum it up for you please don't do anything stupid don't start selling your positions now this is not the time to sell this is the time to huddle or if you have some cash on the side you should uh, at least dollar cost average a bit while Bitcoin is going down because we have lots of supports. We have already one support here where the price is now. We have another support around 44K and we have another support around 40K. And we have a 20 week moving average which is still below the price action. And I'm expecting that the price action could touch that 20 week uh, moving, simple moving average as it did several times in the past during the bull cycle of 2017 and for this bull cycle this is the first time that it could happen it's very healthy if it happens because it gives you an opportunity to go back into the market at a discount so please don't be afraid of the markets if you are doing the correct thing you should not be afraid of the markets you should be happy for this opportunity so guys i hope you enjoyed this uh comedy uh, intro that i had for you guys today if you enjoyed the content don't forget to gently touch the like button share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel if you are new and i hope to see you on the next one bye bye